today we will make BAF401 assignment so what's the assignment? So the assignment question number 1 is theoretical and question number 2 is practical so we are going to deal with question number 2 so we have to select candidate gene then we have to find these 4 things Select a sequence of candidate gene. So first of all, we have find the candidate gene. Candidate. Candidate gene is a gene or a variation on a gene that may relate to construct of interest given to the role uh, of the in the distinct biological pathway findings from the previous studies. So that is a brief introduction of another gene as well. This picture will highlight many things. So what is the difference between candidate gene and GWAS? What is GWAS? It's actually Know why the association study? Find out. So, what the difference? Candidate gene have a smaller number of variants selected as fewer based on hypothesis symmetry in line. So have confirmed high power. These are. Uh, Legal, or you can say they are more prominent than the other one. So we have this like gene uh, that have quite more publications or have less uh, variations in them. So let's find out. So we will found we were supposed to found such genes which are candid genes. Human or you may take any other species. Okay. I found some genes references. The best these are the GWS genes. I need to find the candidate genes. Selected genetic association with the epigenetics more derived from prior gene studies. Okay, these are for my. So let's find out that GDF5 is a gene. I will go to the NCBL website and then put my gene name on that. I need to sequence, so I will select the nucleotide and set. Hopefully, you will get okay. I have find Homo sapiens isolate DDF five. So I will go to the partial colon then that's on the exon two and partial CDS thing. Need some fire base pair. Basically, these are associated genes and with low number of sequence. If you find a gene with a large number of base pairs, then it will be difficult for you to execute the other uh, questions and here the alignment and then the ortholog. It will be difficult for you. Here is the gene. Here we got the gene. And I need a sequence. So I will go to the pasta. Click on the pasta and I will get the sequence. So here's the sequence. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So 
first thing of the assignment is done that select the sequence of the candidate gene. I have selected the sequence of the candidate gene. I don't know its scientific name, so I will Google that. GDF5. It's both differentiation. Find out it's both differentiation factor five. I'll find the scientific name. And the next question is top three alignment result of the standard gene. If the complete from the session number locus coding region ATC ATC. Okay, I will find that from NCBI. For alignment, you have to you have uh, two methods. In a simple way, you can just run the blast. Okay, and it will nucleotide blast, and that will uh, give you the alignments of that sequence. And uh, there is the other way: go to the NCBI uh, blast website, and then you can manually put the sequence and uh, get the result. Keep it simple. I will run the blast. You can copy that sequence for your assignment. And here is the blast in the That side, and I will run. It's automatic. So it may take a while. There is it. So here are the alignments. So we got the session number. Uh, there is the session number. Then the session number. Here is the session number. We click on that in the new tab, and we will find the locus and the coding region. You may get uh, other information from the generals. It's quite simple. These are the exons, pedons, a lot of information. Exactly, but so here, this is the article you can find uh, the locus, it's from for the raven children. And that's it. Now the first step is done. We got the alignment. Okay, that's it. So what's next? Coding region new, you got the coding region. Three more relevant orthologs. So here we find ortholog. For ortholog, you have to um, you can say you have to run the protein blast instead of nucleotide blast. So here's the difference that alignment needs to be uh, blast of nucleotide, and uh, for the ortholog, you need to um, blast for protein. I will go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Here. Not here yet. Here. Here. It's a simple way that uh, I can get the ortholog. That was the page where you got the sequence and scroll down the protein. It's actually the protein sequence from nucleotide coding region. That's for my this sequence. So I will click on that. And 
which will give me the protein sequence. Look at that. It's the protein sequence. So, now I will run the blast for protein. So here you can see that there's blast P. You can add here Homo sapiens actually that should be the Homo sapiens okay that's fine I'm gonna run the blast so here is it There are a few tools which I used like uh, on a database and CBI. You may get the gene sequence from sample two and then you use the tool of blast and you the blast and you decide uh, protein blast. That's it.